go to the TTU Blackboard website. Click Login, and you will see this login window. Input your TTU email address and your password, and click Sign In. Now you are in a Blackboard. Click a current course and then click course tools and then select and click blackboard Co collaborate ultra. Now you are on uh, collaborate ultra. To prepare an online live teaching of a course, first we need to create a session. Click Create Session. Now give a name of this session and then set up the starting time and ending time. Now click Repeat Session. We repeat the course weekly and for every week we choose Monday, Wednesday and Friday. We then click the drop down list showing end after occurrences and select end on date. Then we select our last class day, May 5th. You can set a time for any entry here. This is how early you allow your students to enter into your online teaching classroom. We can set student attendance here by clicking attendance reporting. And check the box share attendance information with LMS. After each live session, the attendance will be shown in the grade center. We can also set up how our students can participate in the live session. Click Session Settings. The default attendee role is Participant. Here, if you uncheck Sharing Audio, your students won't be able to talk in the live class. Otherwise, they can talk and everyone in the classroom can hear. Similarly for the sharing video. We heard that when the sharing audio is enabled, there is a noise even when no student talks. Now click Save. You will have your session ready and it's showing here. When you click this, you will see all individual sessions. By clicking this icon here, you can see Editing Recurring Sessions or Edit Settings if it is a single session. You can change your settings here. After you create the sessions, you should send the link of the sessions to your students so that they can join the online class during class time. For each recurring session, all its individual sessions have the same link. To get the link, we click the three dot icon, click copy guest link, and then the link is copied to the clipboard. You can use any preferred ways to inform your students of this link. Here we give a quick demo on sending the link to your students using Blackboard. Click Course Tools, scroll down to send email, and click it. Click All Users, type a subject here, and then paste the link into the editor box and any text you would like to. Then click Submit. The information will be sent to all students and yourself. When your live teaching time arrives, log to Blackboard and start Collaborate Ultra. For your students to join the class, they only need to click the link you have sent to them. For example, you, if your next class is March 18th, you need to find the correct session. However, we cannot join a, a future session so we use a demo session here. Click the three dot icon or the session title, then click join session. Now you are in the live online classroom. By default, the mic and the video are turned off. To make yourself to be heard by your students, click the mic to turn it on. To make yourself visible by your students, click the video to turn it on. Before you lecture, always make sure your mic is on. Now no, you can speak no. to your students. To make your teaching materials such as PPT slides visible for students, click here, and then click Share Content. 
To show any files to your students, click Share Files. Here we use PowerPoint slides as an example. Click Add Files, then select the PPT files from your computer and click Open. It might take a while to upload. Here to save time, instead of uploading the file, we'll select a file uploaded before. Now select your file and click Share Now. Then click the first slide. Student will see your slide in the main window of uh, Collaborate Ultra. If you use the teaching tools here, you can draw or write on the slides when you teach. For example, you can draw. If you decide to stop showing the slides to student, click Stop icon here. You can also share application or screen with your students by clicking Share Application Screen here. You can share your entire screen, an application, or a Chrome tab. To share the screen, click your entire screen and then click Share. Now your student can see your whole screen as shown in the main area. For example, if you want to share a YouTube video on your to your students, you can go here and play any videos and the students will see it. To stop sharing screen, go back to a collaborate ultra, click the stop icon or click the stop sharing here. You can also communicate with students by using chat here. You can send text messages to a student by finding here his name and text it. Or text to everyone by clicking here and text. You can click the settings here and click set up your camera and the microphone if you have issues with your mic or video. We want to cover details here about this. When you finish your class, you click open session menu and click Leave Session here. You can record your session so that students can watch online or download it. If you want to record during live online teaching, either from the beginning or any time in the middle, click the icon Open Session menu. Then click Start Recording. You will see the recording in progress here. To stop recording, go here and click Stop Recording. Your recorded video will be processed after you leave the session, and the processing may take minutes to hours depending on your recording time. To save the recordings, go back to the Collaborate Ultra and click the main menu here, and then click Recordings. You may save many items, but using your session name and date, you can locate your recordings. The Collaborate Ultra can store as many videos as you want. To make it available to your students, click the three dots icon and copy the link. You can use Blackboard to send your students the link, or you can make your link available through Blackboard as a web link. To build a web link, click My Institution, and then click the course, and then click Build Content, and then click Web Link. Type a name such as Lecture 8, and then paste the link into the URL field. Then click Submit. Now the students can see this web link on the blackboard. Finally, I would like to mention that you can record offline lectures exactly like you do in a live online teaching when you record the session. When you are ready to record an offline lecture, you need to start Collaborate Ultra. To create a session for offline recording, click Create Session. You use the default starting time, which is now, and check No End option.
and then click join the session. Make sure you turn on the mic before you start recording. Start recording. When you are done, stop recording. Then leave the session. Once the recording is available, share the link of the recordings with your students. Before you next gen, always make sure your mic is on. <laughs> <laughs>